Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> this is going to be a quick uh, unboxing video of the Blu-ray DVD digital copy version of uh, The Curse of La Llorona, which it says is from producers of The Conjuring Universe. So I don't know if that means it's part of the universe or not. I, I thought it was, but it doesn't say that it is part of it. It says it's part of the producers of it, so I don't know. I don't know what that means. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I'm interested in seeing it. I remember when it first came out, um, it was getting, like, average reviews and whatnot, but I guess, honestly, I didn't care. I thought it looked cool. I've, I never heard the story before. It's actually based on a real story, as far as I know. And so I was happy when uh, WB uh, sent this to me, Warner Brothers. So that's really cool. And I'm looking forward to checking this out this weekend. I probably have time. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. Um, so anyway, here's the cover. So this is the Blu-ray regular edition. Uh, as far as I know, there is not a 4K edition of this yet. I'm, I'm guessing they're going to do a whole like Conjuring Universe box set at some point in the fall or whenever for all the, the films. Um, I know The Nun, I, th I think, is. I think The Nun's in 4K. But The Conjuring, Conjuring 2, both Annabelle films, and then now La Llorona, I believe, are not in 4K. And I might be wrong about that. Maybe I am. But I, this one definitely was not. Uh, it's on Blu-ray and DVD. But anyway, this will be available on Tuesday the 6th, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's cool, too. It's a little sticker here. It says, also includes Spanish audio. Which is always nice, considering the that's a Spanish story. So anyway, here's the cover. The slip cover. The usual style. This is not embossed, though. It's just regular. There's the spine. Blu-ray logo and then the WB logo. Curse of La Llona. And here is the back. <clears throat> There's a quote on the top there. Let's zoom in here so I can actually read this. It's not... Okay, here we go. A terrifying, timeless legend comes to life in the curse of La Llorona. She is the weeping woman. That's I've heard that one before, the weeping woman. And those who hear her death call in the night are doomed. She creeps in the shadows and preys on the children, desperate to replace her own. In 1970s Los Angeles, ignoring the eerie warnings of a troubled mother suspected of child endangerment, a social worker and her own young kids are soon drawn into a frightening supernatural realm. Their only hope of surviving La Llorona's deadly wrath may be a disillusioned priest in the mysticism he practices to keep evil at bay on the fringes where fear and faith collide. And I believe, and I might be wrong, I think, I think that's him right there. It is Raymond Cruz, I believe, and if you anyone who watches Breaking Bad knows him as Tuco, it was awesome, so that's cool he's got a different kind of role. Not a, not a villainous role. I know he doesn't always play villains, but he played a villain very well on that show, but anyway... Um, it's got some special features. Uh, the myth of La Llorona, which I assume is going to go over the myth of the, the character, the weeping woman. Behind the scenes, or behind the curse, I guess. Uh, the making of a movie monster, and then some deleted scenes and storyboards. The usual stuff. And this does come with a digital copy code for Movies Anywhere. And it's rated R for violence and terror, and it is 93 minutes long. And it does include Dolby Atmos and Dolby Audio. Um, I'll bet the Spanish does not, though, actually. Yeah, Adobe Digital at Espanol 5.1, which, you know, it's just cool that they had it at all. And there's the, without the, 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 the Blu-ray without the cover. Like I said, I mentioned before that I like that they don't have the, the Blu-ray logo stuff at the top here. I think that's nice. And it's the same information on the back, like usual, for the slip cover, which is typical, without the banner for the digital copy. <coughs> Excuse me. What do you guys think of the Conjuring universe? I think it's a very cool universe, like the Marvel universe, doing a better job than the DC universe, if I'm being honest. But, um, hold on. And here's my code. I think it said it expires in the 2020, yeah. So about a year, a little over a year. Put that aside. And here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. And it's black like Warner Bros. usually does. And it's an eco-friendly case, which is typical. I don't hate eco-friendly cases, but I have gotten a couple of um, cases that have had holes in them because of who knows why. And there has been very slight scratches on my, my discs. And as long as they were Blu-rays, it's not been a problem. If it was on the DVD, we'd have a problem because that's basically going to skip or whatever. But. So yeah, very cool. I'm looking forward to checking this out this weekend. Um, yeah, like I said, I really like this Conjuring Universe. I don't, because of this, this thing at the top here, I'm not really sure if it's part of the universe. Or it's just saying that it's made by the same people? Does it, it didn't say in the back here, right? It didn't say anything about the Conjuring universe, so I don't know. I guess I'll find out. So, 
Oh, yeah. Can I put this here like this? It'll stay. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you again with more Steelbook unboxing stuff in the future. More WB unboxings. And then um, all kinds of other stuff actually coming up. Maybe I'll do some reviews. In fact, I'm almost running out of space for my Steelbooks. Maybe I'll do a Steelbook, like, overview. Because I haven't done one of those, I don't think, in years. So, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you again later whenever I see you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you. Bye.